welcome back to that dad guy it is may the 9th 2022 it is my father's 89th birthday today so happy birthday dad i know you're not watching but uh still happy birthday uh, yesterday was mother's day here so we had a nice mother's day weekend on things on saturday on sunday too between my mother my father my mother-in-law my wife uh, my sister was here so uh, lots of mothers were celebrated this weekend hopefully you guys had a great time Today, I want to focus on this envelope that came from Ireland, from Hugh. If you've watched some of my other videos, you will have seen Hugh, I think last week I showed off another envelope he sent me with some stamps, world stamps. Uh, this time he sent me another envelope that was all Irish stamps. So I'm going to show you what he sent. Um, I want to say thank you for those of you who are liking, subscribing, and sharing. Uh, it's been great. The numbers of the subscribers is growing. My views are growing. Um, so yeah, hoping for big things um, coming up this summer that uh, we'll have lots of uh, new subscribers and new content to show you of what's happening here in Canada in the summertime. Uh, that's the hope anyways. And uh, if you're still interested in sending Ukrainian stamps, I'm still in the market for them. I did show my father uh, what kind of has been coming along and he's very impressed, I think, with uh, the amount of stamps that people have sent for him. Um, I'm going to probably do a, a more of a reveal later with that and uh, see if I maybe even can get him on video again. I do want to do a video with my mother. I'm just not sure what it's going to be yet. Um, so those are some plans that are mulling around in my head. And uh, we'll get to it. I'm sure we will. I hope we will. Anyways, so if you do want to send Ukrainian stamps, reach out to me either uh, through Instagram at Robert Lennox or uh, robertlennox at gmail.com if you want to uh, send me a message that way or through Post Crossing at R Lennox. Those are all different ways that you can get in touch with me to get an address uh, where you can send Ukrainian stamps so I can show them off to you guys and so I can uh, add them to the collection for my father. All right, so that being said, let's get to what I have today from Hugh in Dublin, Ireland. I don't have them in any particular order other than I took them out of the envelope and basically put them down. So these are what you have. There are all sorts of different years, all sorts of different denominations and themes. What they have in common is that they're all Irish, which is really cool. we go through it you guys can uh, maybe think which one is your favorite I know just putting out I have a favorite and I'll tell you about it when I get to the end a couple of these stamps I noticed I probably got before but that's all right we're gonna zip back here to the beginning again and I think these ones in particular the bird series or maybe I didn't get this number of the bird last time. Slightly smaller one. I have to be very careful but when I filmed this video, my neighbor was out with his uh, yard works machine and he was uh, grinding up tree branches and things and in his mulcher and so it was quite loud. So I didn't want to be filming while he was doing that. He has stopped, so I figured now's the time. I better get in there, get this video filmed out. And I've also been doing some other things too. We had the element in our hot water tank go, so we had uh, people come over from plumbers to fix it. Oh, here we got some Christmas stamps. I'll put them all in a row. And I've got a light switch that isn't working well, so my father-in-law and uh, my wife's uncle I think are going to swing by later on and see if they can figure out what the problem is. I've taken it all apart and we've rewired it and put new switches in and it doesn't seem to be getting power. Which makes it for a very dark entryway when there's no light working there. So this whole row are Christmas themed. And in May maybe not what you're thinking about, but still cool stamps. Finally, we're in these ones. So focus here. Okay. 
Talk about Canada having small stamps. I think every country has some small stamps. You're getting to see some of the Irish ones here. I know specifically in Canadian stamps, either the ones that come out on a roll or uh, the small denomination stamps are always very small. The themed ones that come out are usually a bit bigger. There you have it. There are all the stamps that came from you. So do you have a favorite? I think this one here is my favorite. It looks like maybe a, it says Castletown Hunt, so maybe it's a fox hunt, where they got all the dogs out there. I just like the imagery, maybe not the uh, the idea of a fox hunt, but uh, the black and white, the, the dogs, the horses, everyone all dressed up for their day. I think that one might be my favorite. Now, the most, this one here of Ireland, that kind of has that, typical Gaelic look to it. These two maybe. They look like older stamps as well. So of uniqueness, they may have a spot or this one here is to the end. This is very Irish looking to me with the clovers, the cross. Yeah, let's flip what this do you around. Think? Did you have a favorite of those stamps? Um, it's always nice seeing different country stamps, at least for me, I think it's it's interesting to see what countries put out. I know Hugh had mentioned, he said that Irish stamps are, are relatively boring. I don't know, I wouldn't say that. I think every country has some uniqueness about the way they put out postage stamps. And even the plainest ones that don't really have a lot of color, sometimes the images that they put in their stamps say a lot about the country. So that's the cool thing about uh, stamp collecting. You, you might collect, like some people say, oh, I'll send you a certain theme. I'll send you just birds or just castles. Or I'm not really interested in that as much as I am interested in the, the broad perspective of everything that comes out. I'm not saying that way I need everything. I think it's just the way that my father collected. He collected the world. And people say, well, you can't collect the world. You'll never be complete. Well, that's not, that wasn't his uh, end goal, I don't think, was to have everything. It was just to be able to participate and see um, the variety that's out there. So just to say, well, I just collect Canadian stamps and I've got every Canadian stamps. Maybe that's a true collector is someone that really wants to have everything. Um, I think we're more those that enjoy, enjoy postage stamps, enjoy the art behind it, that uh, this little stamp, if I can be so gentle to pick one up here could have been put on a piece of paper and sent around the world for the cost of this little piece of paper. There's something um, traditional to be said about that. I know that people aren't writing letters like they used to, that we as post crossers um, are doing kind of a, a dying art form perhaps by sending a letter, by writing on a letter when you could just type up an email and have it instantaneously arrive at its destination, get the same message across, maybe even be able to say more because a postcard can only fit so many uh, words on it. Yes, you can do that. For me, it's nice to be able to see a picture of a place that's far away that I may or may not ever get to, even though I hope to see the world. Um, every day that I don't go out and see more of it is one less day that I can. So to be able to have uh, someone be able to send me a postcard from Russia, from China, from Japan, from wherever, I may not get there. Uh, I hope to one day, but if they can inspire me from their area with the cost of this little piece of paper, I think that's pretty fantastic. And that these all these little pieces of paper can be different in their own way. That's stamp collecting. That's, that's the postal system. Canada Post, I'm proud to be a, a mail carrier, a rural mail carrier, whatever you want to call me, a letter carrier, um, to be working for Canada Post and delivering someone's parcel now, maybe instead of a letter, um, that's something they order, that's something they want, try to get it there as safely and as quickly as you can. Um, take pride in that job. I, I love doing that. So 
to be able to have this extension and be able to be a post crosser and be a mailman and uh, promote the hobby of letter writing still, uh, promote the hobby of collecting stamps still. Uh, it's fun. I hope you guys enjoy it and hopefully you're going to have a great week. Talk to you soon. Stay safe. What like, follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?